Hi there, Internet. My name's Court, and you've got courtside seats for my review of The Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 2, The Passenger. This is the way. So welcome back to my Mando Season 2 series. If you watched my review of last week's episode, you know I loved that episode. And I'm happy to say that I thoroughly enjoyed this one as well. Not as much, but I really dug it. Now, in this series, I'm not going to be going beat for beat with spoilers. I'm not going to talk about every single thing that happened. But I will be discussing specific things that are spoilers. So if you haven't watched the episode yet, you don't want to be spoiled, go watch it. Hopefully you'll come back. So that's your spoiler warning. Cool. Cool. Now, much as I like the cast of directors from last season, I like that they were bringing in some, some new people this season. Last episode was directed by Jon Favreau, who is, of course, the showrunner, but he's never directed an episode before. And here we have Ant-Man's own Peyton Reed. I thought that was cool. And I thought the cold open of this episode was really quite funny, picking up pretty much exactly where we left off from last episode. And while it didn't really further the plot in any significant way, I liked that it did really establish how much the bond between Mando and the child has grown. And I know that I love Baby Yoda, most of us do, but when that guy put a knife to his throat, I had like a visceral reaction. I got angry. I had a momentary thought of like, if you touch one hair on his head, I'll f and you. I also feel like last week they really weighed into the entire like Western genre thing. And this episode, the cold open, the music, the score was so Western. I dug that. I do wish we'd stop going back to the Amy Sedaris character. I said last week, I like Amy Sedaris. I just, I do not like this character. I find her very annoying. Fortunately, she wasn't in it much. But when she started to speak in Frog Lady's language, like that irritated me. I did really like Frog Lady though. I love all the practical stuff they're doing in this series. Like it just looks so tactile. It looks great. I did find the whole thing about Frog Lady's eggs being kind of her last chance to continue the lineage of her family and then Baby Yoda eating those eggs. Like that was, that was a little dark. I know it was supposed to be funny and cute, but yeah. And the sequence with the Razor Crest being intercepted by the X-Wings, I found the banter back and forth to be really kind of goofy. It reminded me a lot of the two stormtroopers in last season's finale, except that I found that funny and I enjoyed it. This scene didn't do it for me. That said, when we get the shot out of the window where the X-Wings go into attack position, that gave me chills. And I thought the space chase that followed was awesome. It looked great. I'm not entirely sure why, but I found Frog Lady in the hot spring with her eggs floating in the hot spring. I found that really kind of sad. I don't know if that's what they were going for, but that's what I took from it. But of course, there wasn't too much time to be sad because it turns out they walked into freaking Shelob's lair. And you can really tell they've got a bigger budget for visual effects this season. With a couple of exceptions, I thought most of the stuff last season looked really good. But with the spiders and the crate dragon, things are definitely bigger and better now. Those spider things, I thought they looked really good. The whole scene was intense and fun and I was totally locked in. Plus, Baby Yoda with the spider on his head. Poor kid. I wouldn't like that either. I also loved the way Frog Lady ran. That was awesome. I did find it a little bit silly that the Razor Crest was so damaged that it couldn't fly until the episode needed to end, and then magically it just kind of could. That just felt a little convenient. I've heard some people saying that they felt that this was a filler episode. That's fair. I disagree, but that's totally fair. If you look back at season one, the show is definitely more episodic than it is serialized. Sure, each episode gets Mando incrementally closer to his goal, and season one did have an overarching plot, but it's usually just a mission of the week, and that's what I took from this one. I thought The Passenger was exciting, it was funny, it was tense, it looked great. I continue to dig season two, now bring on episode three. So now I wanna know, have you watched episode two? What did you think about it? Who is your favorite character on the show? Whatever your thoughts, hit the comments below, let's discuss. If you enjoyed this review, please smash that like button and give it a share if you really enjoyed it. And hey, why not take a second, do me a favor, click subscribe, and ring that bell to subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, entertainment news, trailer reactions, all that good stuff. Hope you guys are all safe and healthy. Thanks very much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. I have spoken.